Hello everybody, welcome back, Minor Mountain here, and this is Escape Room. So there's a few rooms in the Pixel Dungeon that uh, you're going to be lucky to escape with your life. This is one of them here, I like to call it a trap room, there's a lot of floor traps around it, I believe that's uh, poisonous gas will come out of those. So uh, Potion of Levitation is how you get through this. Uh, they will always spawn a Potion of Levitation in the same level that has the trap room, so just go around, gather all the potions, and then stand by the door and start drinking them, uh, preferably standing in water. Oh, hey, I got it on the first shot there. That normally doesn't happen. So that's that's the intended way of doing it. However, potions of levitation can come in handy fighting Tengu, the level 10 boss, things like that. Uh, so there's a, there's another way to do this. Let me show you how to do this without the potion of levitation. Basically, and you have to have a few items to do it, but not many normally so here knuckle duster I'm just gonna throw that to open the door so I can see what's going on here you don't want to stand in there when you do this and just start throwing items on the traps that you want to spring throw that in there notice how I threw it at the, the trap that was furthest away from me because that this cloud will spread you don't want to get trapped in it so uh, and food rations, you can throw food rations on there, it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, obviously, you can throw scrolls on it, that's not going to hurt it. You don't want to throw potions because the bottle will break and you'll use the potion. So, after you've done that, you just got to wait for it to clear out. And after that gas clears out, you can go pick up your, uh, your items you threw and whatever item was in there. Well, I don't know what item it was, I forget now, but that's how you do it without a potion of levitation. Now, so that's a small run. There's bigger ones. Here's a big one. That's a pretty good size one. There's, there's twice as many traps as we got a spring in here. Uh, once again, I get it on the first shot. Uh, and I was standing in water there. You want to be standing in water in case you drink a potion of uh, liquid flame. Uh, yeah, you don't want to mess around when you're in there too. That's another side note I got to, because that, that potion of levitation is only going to last so long and you don't want to get trapped in there. So get in there, get out. You know, get your item, get out. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Just going to start throwing stuff in. This is the other way, obviously, without potion of levitation. This is how you do it. And I throw it at the trap furthest. And then just start working my way back. Home of mastery. That's pretty useful right there. Now, I can't throw anything else here without there being issues. I could take off my armor, maybe, and throw it, but I don't think that's smart. So what I'm going to do is just uh, walk around, let this gas clear out, come back and pick up that food ration. There, I did that. I got paralyzed. I don't know if you saw that. But then you can go ahead and just throw the food ration on the first trap. And even if you don't open the door, the, the room will clear out. So I just do it so I can see in there so I don't walk into it. Then go and pick up your items after it's, the gas is cleared out and pick up the uh, item you're after. Okay, here's the second type of room. This is a pit room because it's got a giant pit that you can fall and die. You might not die. I've got other episodes about this. But a potion of levitation is the only way that I know of to get the item without hurting yourself falling to the next level. So here we are, the third, third and final type of room that is uh, dangerous, I would say. I cover some other rooms, but they're not dangerous. Is uh, I call it a fish room. It's got three giant piranha in it and it's guarding an item. So you're gonna need a potion of invisibility. A potion of levitation won't help you here because even though you're above the water, the fish can see you, they can attack you above the water just fine. So I go out, I go find three different potions, <clears throat> and I go ahead and start drinking them. Oh, potion of strength, that's good, but not what I need. Charcoal potion, ah, oh, invisible, okay. And this is a smaller room, so get in, get out. You wanna do it quickly. Uh, not a problem in the smaller room. They, they do make them pretty big too, where your uh, potion of invisibility can run out and then the fish start attacking you. They're very fast too and they'll they'll just all three get on you really quick. They can take you out pretty quick so you gotta be careful with them. I would say they're one of the more formidable enemies in the earlier levels of the Pixel Dungeon. Um, so here's another way you can take them out or get the item. You, you take them out obviously but it's it's kind of tricky to do. Um, unless you've got like, I would say two seeds of earth root, you can't just stand there and melee them. Okay, right there, see how I opened that door? If there was water in there, in that little doorway opening, they would be able to swim out and get me right now. That's something you have to watch out for. That's why I threw that bread behind me so I could jump out that, that doorway 
to take them out. So a range attack, obviously. So that's what I'm doing here. Range attack is the best way because they can't hit me. This boomerang is awesome. Look, it goes around these corners. That's pretty good. So they're dropping mystery meat. That mystery meat needs to be cooked before you eat it and it'll be worth half a food ration or a overpriced food ration. So that's, that's the hard way of doing it. Those fish are really tough. I normally don't take them out. I try to just find the potion of invisibility. If I can't, sometimes I'll leave it, especially if it's just a food ration. Not really worth almost killing yourself. And once again, you know, I've got two potions I'm gonna try here. Potion of strength, luckily it wasn't a potion of liquid flame because I'm not standing in water. There's the potion of invisibility. Walk in, get your item, walk out. Don't even wake them up. Easiest way to do it. Unless it's something you really want, I wouldn't take them out. They're, they're pretty tough enemies. Okay, so here's another room, but this is going to be a hidden room. This is hidden behind uh, it's a pile of sticks. A pile of sticks needs burnt out. There's a few different ways you can actually deal with that. Burn, burn those sticks out. Uh, but you obviously need to find, find the right items in the pixel dungeon. So, what happens here? I got some items, but I get cornered here. Low health, crabs are pretty tough, and I die. That happens a lot in the Pixel Dungeon. You're gonna die a lot. Don't get discouraged. It's just when you think you've got the game, you're doing good, you're gonna die. <laughs> happens to me all the time. Don't worry about it. Just keep playing. It's uh, part of the fun, I guess. But anyway, here we go. Here's our, uh, here's another pile of sticks. Uh, I, I, I wanna try something here because I've never done it before. I've got a wand of lightning. Here, let me show you. Let me show you what the stats are, what it says. Wand of lightning conjures forth deadly arcs of electricity. Well, okay, see, it didn't work. You know, I thought, you know, forest fires are started by lightning all the time, so what the hey? No, didn't work. We need a potion of liquid flame. Hey, I got it on the first one. I've, I've done that a lot lately. I guess the pixel dungeon feels sorry for me. Yeah, go in there and get our prize. Nice. Okay, that's the first kind of hidden room you can come across. The second kind of hidden room you can come across, come across will be behind a bookcase. Not these bookcases. This is just another uh, prize room, treasure room if you will. I'm not sure what was on that pedestal, but I'm sure it was something good. Now if this crab doesn't kill me, I've got cloth armor of stench. That's what that is. I won't be affected by that gas cloud. Anyway, ring of haste got that stuck on me. Anyway, I got uh, another method you could clear bookcases with. You can burn them with a uh, uh, potion of liquid flame or right there. You can use a bomb on them. You can even get uh, the plant that produces fire, set it next to it, and then throw something at it. That'll burn it out too. No doors behind that, but this one is a door, or we'll have a room behind it, so we've got to find pushing a liquid flame or a bomb. Actually, I think I've got bombs in my inventory, but I didn't want to use them because I already had that that footage for you guys. So I went around looking through the pixel dungeon and this is what I came up with. Yeah, I got three bombs. There's uh, no point in me doing this, but anyway. Ah, okay, so you want to be able to clear the room quick in case you throw a uh, potion of toxic gas. Let's let that clear out. Head back in there. Give it another try. I think that's the first one in this video I didn't get on the first shot that was actually detrimental. Those other two were like potions of strength, so that's not bad. So we get in there, we got a ration of food, 30 gold, 33 gold. Not bad. Definitely, definitely worth it. Anyway, that's all I got time for today, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share. Mind about now. Peace!